Hello guys and welcome to my latest video and in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to give you a game called Tactical Ops Assault on Terror. So basically this game um, started up as a mod, you know, a modification for the Unreal, the Unreal Tournament game back in 1999 and then quick enough it became a standalone game in 2002. So this is basically the direct competitor to Counter-Strike 1.5 or 1.6 uh, because it's the same game basically um, but um, made obviously with a different engine as you may know Counter-Strike was made uh, was originally a mod for Half-Life 1 using the original Gold Source engine and this time around this game Tactical Ops is a mod for the Unreal 1 engine I mean the Unreal Tournament uh, 99 game and it became a standalone game and the gameplay is basically the same as Counter-Strike. It's very similar. There are two teams, one uh, special forces, you know, the you know the police force or you know the counter-terrorism against the terrorist uh, forces and also the objectives are basically the same, defusing and arming the bomb or saving or protecting hostages. And uh, basically, the maps are very similar too. There are also even maps that were ported, were you know created from zero from Counter Strike to a tactical uh, tactical ops. So you also be able to find D Dust, D Aztec, D Italy, and and a lot of very iconic maps from Counter Strike as well as very iconic maps from Tactical Ops themselves. Um, a very uh, I'm pretty new to this game. I never really played this this game back in the day. I was more uh, of a Counter Strike person, but I have to admit that uh, it's a pretty fun game. It obviously has better graphics than Counter Strike because um, you know the Unreal One engine is more advanced than the Gold Source engine, so graphics tend to be a little better. But the gameplay is obviously, uh, I think it's more crappy. I think that the, com the Counter Strike gameplay is, is just on point, uh, whereas the Tactical Ops gameplay is kind of feels kind of choppy and kind of weird. Um, a very iconic map for this game, I think it's called uh, you know Rapid Waters because uh, if you see the maps, different maps available to download for this game is one of the most ported and in one is one of the most repeated map for this game. So basically if you go to my webpage, as always, if you go to my forum, uh, is it, if it's the first time you are entering my forum, you have to register and uh, you'll have to wait for an email confirmation. It usually takes less than a day because it takes whatever I'm home and I'm going to accept you guys. So once you are accepted, just go as always into Hacking Games and here you'll have to find the thread about tactical ops here. So here you will be able to download the uh, tactical ops pack. Uh, it basically contains the you know the, the you know the the um, tactical ops client you know the game as well as a dedicated server files. So I also recommend to go to to um, line files dot nl. Uh, I really recommend visiting this um, this website because it's a very complete website you'll have everything you need about the game um, you'll have tutorials you'll have uh, you know uh, custom packs you'll have uh, you know um, all, all different kind of maps to download and um, a lot of stuff you know you have all the different maps that were created basically for this game they are present here so if you're looking for a specific map from this game if it's not included inside my pack you'll highly um, you, you most likely will find it here so uh, basically uh, once you download my pack you're gonna go into obviously the folder once you extract it so I'm gonna look for it uh, tactical ops here um, I personally uh, uploaded the version 3.4 uh, as you can see uh, because there's also a newer version named 3.5 but I highly suggest you to use this version because people all over the world tend to play this version more rather than the 3.5 so this is the most popular version of the game here you have the client folder which is the, basically the game I uh, make may I made sure to include a lot of maps. So uh, as you can see, there are a lot of maps. I tried to include one of the most played maps for this game. So um, 
everything is is done for you just to download and play you don't have to download any specific map but if you want more maps you can visit the website that I showed you like a couple seconds ago and uh, basically that's pretty much it and then you have the dedicated server folder here you have uh, you know all the different uh, server files yeah, here you can execute the server by going to the system folder and executing the tactical ops server and also I have included a little guide um, I made it mainly in English some things are in Spanish but you can easily uh, you know uh, understand it or just translate it um, it's basically a, a little guide in order to show you how to administer the, the admin functions but I'm going to show you how it works uh, with this video so don't worry about that so basically uh, if you open the client it's going to be very similar like Unreal Tournament you just execute tactical ops executable and here even the menu is the same as a real tournament as you can see uh, you can go into game practice session um, if you go to mutators you have a lot of different mutators I have suggested to activate this weapon pack because it adds a couple of weapons uh, but basically this is it uh, you can add bots what I uh, you know be advised that the bots in this game are super retarded uh, so don't expect to have a very good bot uh, match here bots i mean bots are playable it's not that they are standing there like a plant but uh you know they they are at least they they accomplish basic skills just as walking or shooting you and making different stuff but they're not very skilled they're pretty retarded so uh, don't be shocked about that this this mod or this game was mainly designed in order to play multiplayer with real persons and not with bots so once you do this, uh, just make sure to start the match. And here it, it starts instantly. You can select whatever special forces you want. As you can see, it's very similar to Counter Strike, but here you can obviously select, uh, you know, uh, women, female characters. Um, so I'm gonna go with this guy. I personally made it adjustments to the controls of the game. So it feels more similar to Counter Strike. Move, move, move. Uh, you can press Q to change the weapon. You can press a T to talk to teams. A y to talk, uh, you know, in general. And uh, also, you know, crouch, jump. I got your back. Uh, you can change the firing mode by pressing the wheel, the wheel uh, button of the mouse. And then basically, you just shoot your gun, reload with R and stuff like that. So as you can see, it, it looks pretty much like Counter-Strike, uh, uh, but it's a different game. As you can see, the water is the Unreal Tournament water, you know, the ripples, the water ripple and, and stuff. So um, what you're going to do here, I'm going to demonstrate which, we which weapons are included, uh, even if you use the this little mutator weapon pack. Uh, I'm going to change for a different map here. And uh, we're going to go with this one, for example. We're going to go with the terrorists. And here you can see, if you if you press B, you can buy weapons. Same as Counter-Strike. Here you have different weapons at your disposal. There are not a lot of weapons, go, go, go. but they are enough, I guess. So, um, so yeah, we're going to buy this one. And as you can see, we have the Desert Eagle. Uh, and we're going to quit this. So basically... Uh, this is just using the client, but I'm going to teach you how to use the dedicated server. Uh, the dedicated server, it's a, dedic a modded dedicated server. That means that uh, if you connect to your own server, to your own dedicated server, you'll have extra weapons and extra features and extra sounds that are not present inside the client. I tried um, adding those mods inside the client. I was not able to, to do that, but... Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna um, start the dedicated server here. We're gonna start it. Uh, first time you start a dedicated server, it's probably gonna ask you to open the port. So fast forward the port, just click and accept. And then uh, I'm gonna open the client and I'm gonna try to connect to that dedicated server. So um, basically what you're gonna do is open the, the console and type open and uh, whatever IP, you, you, I'm actually hosting the server in this same computer, so I can use 127.001. I'm also uh, I can also uh, use the you know the local IP. Want you know, or I can also use the external IP. So in this case, uh, we are already connected. As you can see, you'll already see some differences. 
Okay, so the bots are still playing. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna show you just in a second once the bots are, um, or once the round finishes, that we have more uh, weapons um, to choose from, and it's basically a better version than the client, the original client one. Hostage rescued. So as you can see, we have the real names of the guns. Clock, Beretta, we also have a Raging Ball, this is like a revolver. Go, go, go. And then we have these uh, submachine guns, uh, options for the terrorists. And then we have all the rifles, the AK, the M4, the, M the FAMIS, the M16, and the SIG, the Stereoc, and different, uh, you know, heavy machine gun. And also, you know, different guns and grenades and stuff. So, uh, I highly suggest if you're gonna play the game, just play it with the dedicated server, you have extra features. So I got pwned there. Alright. So, um, so now we're gonna learn how to manage your server. So let's say the server is running. Um, you can use this extra little guide in order to, you know, um, to use it. You can administer your server uh, and being an admin, same as what happens with, you know, for example, Counter-Strike. Uh, you can uh, manage your server in game or uh, you know externally. If you want to manage your your game externally, it's just gonna go into the dedicated server uh, folder system. We're gonna go make sure to open the you know the server tactical ops win, and just look for this line. We're gonna copy this, Control F, and here sh you just have to uh, identify whatever username or password we're gonna use so now you're gonna open what is make sure the server is opened uh, open whatever Internet Explorer you have internet browser and type a local IP and once you put the user and password you'll be able to change maps uh, also your server console player list and all that stuff so here you'll be able to somehow manage the server. But if you want to do the same inside the game, um, it's a different story. So we're going to uh, identify this, this line, admin password. We're also going to open the, you know, the INI again. And we're going to look for a different line now. We're going to go into find and uh, look for this one. So when it says admin password inside game, game info, just make sure to put whatever password you're going to use. And, um, and then just uh, what you're going to do is uh, copy this, admin login space and whatever password you choose inside the game. So we're going to, uh, you know, dedicated server is opened. We're going to go and open the client now. And uh, we're going to connect. into the server but this time around um, we're gonna be a player you know a regular player but we're gonna open the console and we're gonna just type this about that admin login space whatever password you chose and you can see the here drive yourself became server administrator if you didn't this the stuff correctly you'll see this message so uh, next thing you want to do is go back and type show admin tab so show admin tab enter and here you'll be able to change to whatever map you want so just double click it and click and switch if you want to play if you want to change the map here you'll be able to you know see all the players you can ban them all different stuff mute them and uh, so yeah uh, <laughs> show show game tab yeah you can also change whatever weapons you want to go, go, be go. available for each team. Open the console and type show weapon tab and here you will be able to select whatever uh, weapons the, the you know the the counter terrorists or the terrorists are available. So uh, also a little detail. Oh sorry about that, I just mistakenly closed the window. Also a little detail that I can mention to you guys is that you can actually um, log out from admin if you type admin logout. 
And uh, if you want to change the freeze time, the freeze, the freeze time, um, we're gonna go into dedicated server folder system. Uh, we're gonna go into the server INI as well. You know, tactical ops win and pre round. Just look for pre round. And here you'll be able to change the seconds of the freeze time if you think that the freeze time is, is way too long. You can change it here and you can change it also. Here. Which is gonna be, uh, you know, only the first round uh, seconds. So here there are a lot of parameters that you will be able to change. Um, also another interesting thing, if you want to include bots inside your server, Um, let's see if you want to include bots. Uh, let me look for this. Uh, I don't remember uh, exactly. Uh, it was like a minimum players or something like that. Okay, let, let's look for this. Uh, uh, was somewhere around here. Max players. Okay, we're gonna look for this. Initial bot uh, here. Go, we, you want to go into min players six. That means that the server is even if the server is empty, it's going to be filled with six bots. If you join the server, uh, one bot is going to be kicked. So it, one human against five five bots. And uh, you know if another human uh, joins the server, two humans. Uh, I, I mean every time a human joins, one bot is going to be kicked. So. Um, this was a little basic tutorial on how to manage your server. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy this. Um, just give some love to this game uh, because it's a very, I, I think it's a very secure game. People still play this game, but I, I think obviously um, it's much less famous than, you know, Counter-Strike, which is more mainstream. So uh, I hope you really like this video tutorial. I hope you play some tactical ops um, and see you next time in the next video. Bye.